Um, where is my notepad? Okay. Are you recording, Acha? Yep, we are live. Okay. Um, so last off on Celestial Quest, uh, some of the group members finally made out of the cave. Uh, leaving Miriam behind with um, Chase and the other goons that were left. <laughs> <laughs> the music <laughs> took you off guard, didn't it? It did. <laughs> Shit, my bad. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, you're okay. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> heard the <laughs> like, I was I heard... battle. <laughs> I heard the music pop, and then he made just freaked out. I'm like, oh. Ah. I was like, a, I got scared. I'm like, there's a battle going on where? Hey, how do you think I felt? I'm the one still in the cave with the guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, when Grip made out of the cave, um, um, <laughs> um <laughs> I'm crying. Why? Because that was so funny. <laughs> I just made myself okay. No, please continue. I'm so sorry. You're so fine. <laughs> You're okay. I, I I muted it so I won't get distracted. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm at PTSD. Like oh, where, <laughs> where in the dark? Okay. Anyways, um, <laughs> once the group made it out of the cave, um, Cyrus was super super hungry, <laughs> so he sn he snipped. <laughs> <laughs> He sniffed around for something to eat, and the closest thing he could find was buried um, somewhere nearby. Um, he went off to um, dig that up while um, dropping uh, Kalia, uh, Allison, and um, <laughs> wow. Allison, and you know, to the floor. Um, as he dug up uh, the remainder, like the body of a, one of the goons that. Um, I think that's the one that Miriam killed, right? Yeah? Yes. And up <clears throat> yeah. Um, he proceeded to eat because he just couldn't take it anymore. Um, yeah. Uh, Koshka, wow. holding on to Fio, uh, walked up to him as well. Like to ha I remember she took a, uh, a part of it too. And gave some to Fio as well, I believe. Yeah. Fio, Fio I jumped in the hole. I, I remember she jumped in the hole uh, <laughs> to have some too. Um, Yuna, uh, concerned of, like, what he had found that was, that to eat under the ground, um, went to go see what it was. I think it was Koshka that let her know it was a human body. At that, Yuna did not know how to react. Um, when she got back to Kalia, she let her know that she was, uh, uh, just disappointed in where she could not stop Cyrus from eating a human body since it was one of the promises she had made to him about eating humans. Um, and so in that stage, she decided to take Allison back home because Allison herself, being human, was freaked out. So they both decided, they both left. Um, Kalia, after um, Cyrus and Hasville had a talk with Cyrus, um... And from there, um, meanwhile, in the cave, Miriam and Chase were um, pacing all the way to the back of the cave and then back um, to the front of the cave, talking and f um, Miriam figuring out information that Chase had of like what well, the operations he was doing, who he was working for, um, why were he's looking for mythical creatures, then possibility of knowing what Miriam herself is, finding out what, what she herself Um well, information on that, but not 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 for certain. Um, at that, um, after the Kalia hired talk with Cyrus, uh, she decided to go back into the cave. Cyrus um, waited out as he's um, waiting outside, uh, like just taking like he's like I I think I remember he laid down and stuff. Um, and then Koshka and Fio, in the meanwhile, decided to um, go back to the spy shop to catch up with Yuna. Um, in the cave, um, uh, Kalia met up with, uh, Miriam and Chase and the other goons and had, like, a Mexican standoff <laughs> before, um, it was agreed that, um, Miriam could take, uh, continued, like, uh, she can keep Chase and, uh, 
Kalia can take the other three, and she took them uh, heading back towards the back of the cave. And uh, I believe that is where we have left off. Oh, no. And then Koshka did make it back to the spy shop. But with a nat one, she failed. I think she got in, but then she tripped over something and then just fell to her onto her face with a screech. I think it was. Yeah. And then, you know, was given a new dress. But at a hearing Koshka, she ran out of the room to see her. Um, and that is where we left off. So we will pick up with um, Koshka on the floor, practically dead. True, I forgot how low HP goes. And um, what is my HP right now? I believe uh, it was oh, like one. Two. Yeah, it was, it was definitely single dig. Um, uh, you know, yes, you rush out of the room and you just hear, uh, wait, hold on from like behind you. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Did your thing die? I think my computer froze. I don't know when it froze. Ah. Darn it. What was the last thing you heard? Oh, you said everything. Oh, okay. I guess it froze right after I finished. That's good. I was going to be mad. <laughs> I was like, hell no. That thing did not freeze while I was giving the recap. Are you on your phone right now? Yes. I'm uh, on my phone. Gotcha. No, you, you okay. completed the recap. All I was saying is we're picking up where Koshka left off on the floor. Okay, um, thank goodness. But, uh, you, what I was saying is, you know, you rush out of the room, uh, mm -hmm. realizing that it was Koshka, and you hurry downstairs to, yeah. to aid her. All you hear is, uh, if, like, you hear, I don't know if you listen, but you hear, uh, um, uh, wait, don't wait, hold on. Behind you. Um, she does hear yeah. she's in the as she's helping Koshka, she says, Hold on, I'm helping her. Uh, Koshka, are you okay? It has been. I can't hear thing. you, Atra. Uh, I can hear I'm pretty okay. <clears throat> I, I can't. Maybe it's the music, hold on. Um, yeah, the music on the phone on mobile is so dude, loud. It's mega loud. Yeah. 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 Okay. I cannot Go when ahead. I'm on mobile. I cannot have the music on. All right. Yeah, I think that worked. Go ahead, Atra. It has been a rough day. Oh, you're not looking very good. Here, I can help you. And like, as I I, I helped. Uh, did you get up though? Um. No, she stayed laying down. Oh, okay. Um, she is got. Uh, she, she no longer notices... cares about dignity at this point. <laughs> she is going to um heal you with uh cure wounds, but my laptop is currently frozen. So uh, uh, Chiru, if you if you don't mind rolling for me, what or... is it? Um, or do I, I go through? Cure... You? You can you can go into my into my um what do you call it? it into my sheet if you like it, I can try for I it should be public uh... well, hold on you're hold the on. you're the DM so you should be able to access that anyway and then... what level cure ones um let's do a level two. There you go. Uh, yeah. 14. Cool. Mm -hmm. So, um, she places your, her hands on you, Koshka, and you see the bright glow of her horn and the magic traveling into her hands, and she 
heals the 14 HP. On when you head. feel the glow, Koshka, you can always feel the kindness and sweetness coming from her. The good in her, like, seeping into you. Exactly. <laughs> that time. Koshka just... You, you see her grimace a little bit, and then she closes her eyes and... Thank you. No problem. <laughs> and is Feel still in your hand? Yes. Little baby Feel. Nina's gonna look at you and say, Oh, you brought Feel with you! Someone had to. <laughs> and she's gonna, since he's still kind of crouched, she is going to um, gently try to pet you. Um, Bio. Um. Do you allow me to pet you? You see yeah. this giant hand coming at you, Fio. I... Step. Hmm? Step back. <laughs> you step back? <laughs> um, Yuna pauses, like, she kind of, like, stops at that, and she goes, Fio, what's wrong? It's me! Did you forget? Does she have food? No. <laughs> Does she have food? Uh, you know, you feel a tap on your shoulder. Huh? Uh, She's gonna turn her head. It's Alyssa. Allison, Allison. Oh, uh, okay. And she kind of like, is like looking at you and she's trying hard. Like you can see her eyes kind of like wandering upwards more than anything. And she's like trying not to look. She's not... She's trying not to make eye contact and still make eye contact, but every time she looks away, she's looking upwards. You're, um... Here, are you okay with being undressed? As she blushes. She kind of, um, like, points down, gesturing to the rest of you. Ah, uh, she looks down, and she sees that most of her hair has covered her, but there's still parts showing <laughs> of her body. And she's just like, Oh yeah! Sorry, I forgot! I mean, if you and your, um... And she looks to, like, Koshka and Fio. I understand that you guys have a certain way of dressing up, or, uh, lack thereof. Um, but I just kind of wanted to make sure you guys were okay. No, no, no! You are, you're <laughs> right! I remember, you gotta dress when there's humans around! She's gonna, like, pat at uh, Allison's, like, arm. I will go dress up! Are you... gonna, oh, I was gonna say. Go back upstairs, yeah. When you do that, she kind of like, she gets papped and she's like, she, she like, holds her arm where she got papped and she's like, but, wait, what, huh? And she just like, looks the wrong direction behind her and then the correct direction behind her, following you. And then she's like, I... Okay. <laughs> I, okay. Uh, she's going to start helping you up, Koshka. I I reluctantly or she... accept her <clears throat> Okay. She offers her hand to you, and when you place your hand on her, <laughs> it's rather weighted, you know, more than what she's used to, as she starts to kind of, like, instead of, she tries to be gentle, but really she's just kind of, like, you know how you just stand still and have a higher fortitude to help people up, so they use you to help themselves up? She tries to do that, but if you try to rely on her, she's probably going to topple. Uh... <laughs> hey, hang on. Hang on. She 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 pulls herself up without pulling against Miriam. <clears throat> or uh Allison. <laughs> Allison. God damn it. Uh not what I wanted. 
I'm gonna jump out of. I'm gonna jump out. I'm okay. Across the room. I'm gonna cross the room. I'm going to grab you with one of my tendrils. Uh, do you resist? <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. Dex v Dex. I'm gonna ask Koshka to give me a sleight of hand and Fio to give me an athletics. Or is it acrobatics? Hold on, I always mess this up. It, uh, if you're resisting, it's acrolytics. Okay, so, alright, so acrolytics. So choose choose your poison. And Koshka, you do me a sleight of hand. Oh, damn! Koshka, <laughs> you, you, you throw out your tendril to grab at this little bird, and it just does a simple swipe. It's, you're, not, you're not expecting too much. Feel with her eyes like they like do that anime blink and shine where they like <laughs> as she sees it coming and when the tendril comes she opens up her mighty wings and does a flap and she kind of like jumps over the tendril and kind of like glides down and plops on the floor you just hear like a little like bloop as the um, the the talons of her claws just hit and scrape against the ground. And you could have sworn she might have done a backflip there, but you're not sure. <laughs> um, and she runs off. I, I rub my temples between my <laughs> thumb and middle finger on one hand. And then I look at uh, Allison. Do you have any meat foods? Oh, um... Uh most likely. Uh, and then she will be kind of going to the back of the store. As you can see her avoiding the broken glass and the spilled spices all over the floor. I attack the spices. The spices on the floor. Yeah, I attack them. You do that. Roll for attack. No. <laughs> <laughs> you start pecking at the spices on the floor. I'm assuming that's how you attack. Mm-hmm. You start noticing there's a flavor to these spices. Ooh. It's some of it is rather nice. Other of it's a little bit more uh, 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 Ar aromatic. Aromatic. I thought you were gonna say erotic for a minute there. I'm like what? Aroma ar aromatic. Mm. Ar aromatic. Why? <clears throat> ar it's say it again. Ar aromatic. It's aromatic. Not to, it's it's not aromatic. an easy word to say. Aromatic. Ugh. Great. <laughs> Put that one on my list. Um. And then finally, Fio, you do another attack, another peck at like this pile there, and it tastes really spicy, Ooh. like really spicy. I attack. <laughs> I attack. More spicy. You just see Fios is going to this pile. <laughs> you're just you're, you're wrecking that pile. Yeah, Kosha, you see Fio just wrecking this pile, covered in this spice. It's uh, instead of an orangey red bird, like a like the orangey yellow bird, you see like this um, red tinge all over this this on their feathers. I'm just going to walk over, pick her up, and just give a little sniff of her to figure out what spice it is. You give a sniff, <clears throat> and roll me a... Should I, should I even... Con. 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 Con or Defy. <laughs> I mean, what? what is like Con or Defy. <laughs> Oh my god. Wouldn't Connor, it, I write it. Wouldn't it be a nature <laughs> check, though, to see if you recognize the spice? That's what I'm thinking. Wait, wait, of. Robert, rules lawyer us. Nature, if you recognize the dungeon the spice. master has ultimate power. Yes. But I wouldn't find the dungeon master is for asking for help. Rules can, be, rules can be adjusted at their will. That is actually okay. explicitly from the DMG. Okay, what about... God damn it, Robert. Na nature that is check. literally the most full effort lazy answer you could have given, and I love it. I mean, I know what I'd probably do. 
But like, that's maybe... because you're a displacer beast that doesn't deal with spices. <laughs> so that tells me con check. And maybe nature check to find out what it is, con check to die. Uh, I was, yeah, okay, because I was trying to think if it was going to be per uh, I'm going to do that. Do me a nature check and a con check. Also die. <laughs> also die. Con save? I'll do, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do the con save. Uh, <laughs> nature check. You. You're not sure what powder this is, but boy, is it spicy. And since you took a big old whiff of it, you got some in your nose. This is very unpleasant, but... You manage to just kind of like do a little cat sneeze where you like turn your head vig vigorously and just you manage to just not get uh, too much chili powder up your nose. Just <laughs> yeah, you do like three or four sneezes. A burp. A burp? <laughs> yeah, you just hear that from Theo. <laughs> I I just. Like, like I, I squint real hard, recovering from the sneezes. Then I hold her up a little higher and look at her. You are... Huh? I swear to God, I'm going to murder my mother. Blue. Anyway, I just... I, I look at her and I just say... You are little troublemaker. Do you know that? <laughs> <clears throat> you do not even understand me, do you? Alright, I go for her hair. <laughs> do you resist? I set her on my head. <laughs> if, it, if it keeps her entertained and away from trouble, Fine. I, I swim in her. <laughs> you, you, you do that? <laughs> um, you peck and swim through her hair. Uh, Koshka, you can feel your hair getting knotted with every paddle. Also spice. <laughs> also spice, yes. <laughs> At that moment, you see Allison coming back. She looks like she was actually watching this ordeal happen for a little longer than she should have. But uh, you can see uh, her holding back some laughs. as she's kind of like biting her lip. And she's like, um, uh, here you go, jerky. <laughs> and I, I, I just like very harshly grab it from her hand. She kind of yelps as she pulls her hand back. Enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> and I hold the jerky up for Theo to start pecking at. They attack it. I go like, freaking locked on target. Red, like the red eye flask. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> do you just aimlessly go for it? Mm -hmm. Do you possibly peck Koshka fingers. 